Hello and happy finally Friday from Radically Rational. Okay, I'll start with this, an optimistic note. I'm actually feeling pretty good about the Dallas Cowboys going into the draft and OTAs and on to next season. I've been impressed. You know, they kind of laid low there for a while at the beginning of the offseason, but they finished with a rush signing Stefan Gilmore and Brandon Cooks. This looks like a pretty good football team to me. The problem is the neighborhood they live in because the NFC East is going to be tough across the board. And yes, that even includes the commanders. But anyway, I think Dallas is positioned very nicely right now with one asterisk and caveat. Tony Pollard, you better stay healthy. Okay, we're less than a week away from round one of the draft, and it's the silly season. You can't believe anything that comes out of anybody's mouth because they're all playing poker right now. But I will tell you this. I am starting to believe that the Texans are less than in love with C.J. Stroud. We'll see what that does. If that is in fact the case, it would make sense for them to trade down in round number one. All right, think about this. If Aaron Rodgers wanted to, he could really turn up the heat on the Packers right now. How about he just says, you know what? Get this thing done with the Jets this week or I'm going to stay right here in Green Bay and you owe me $68 million. All right, look, I got no feelings one way or the other about Alec Baldwin, either as a person or an actor. That's not the point, but I do think it's proper and I was happy to see that those involuntary manslaughter charges were dropped because from a criminal standpoint, he did nothing wrong. And there was some political grandstanding going on here. The tragedy is ultimately the responsibility, the sole responsibility of the movie's weapons handler. And that's where it belongs. See, I, I don't make decisions about guilt or innocence based on tribal politics. And that's one of the things that separates all of me from some of you. All right, similarly, I am not Elon Musk's biggest fan, but I actually don't think he was spinning that yesterday when he said that even the ultimately aborted uh, SpaceX launch yesterday with Starship was a success. I don't think he's spinning that. You know, I don't think he's putting sugar on it. That's just the way these things go when you're developing rockets, particularly when you're developing the strongest rocket in human history. They'll get that engine coordination thing figured out in a hurry. It really doesn't look like that big a deal to me. Now, Twitter, that's an entirely different matter. All right, one thing about this launch and detonation, you better know that this 68-year-old broken down jalopy of a human being got at least a wan chuckle out of the term rapid, unscheduled disassembly. I hear you. All right, one more thing. This is good. I don't know if you've seen it, but did you see the video of what happened to that car on Boca Chica Beach that was parked just a little too close to 16 million pounds of thrust? All I'm saying is if you're considering a used car purchase, check the car check and car facts on that one. That is damaged goods. Um, even in a complete victory, think about this, Dominion, for whatever reason, wound up taking it relatively easy on Fox Spews. Now, here's the thing, Smartmatic, they're not going to be nearly as civil. They're going to make this hurt. Bidding starts at 2.7 bill, and they want an admission of guilt, an apology, and some ritual drawings and quarterings. Oh, one more thing. Lindell, pay up, you greasy little shit. All right, your reputation is determined and exposed by what you do when you think nobody's looking, and then you get busted. So reputation, character, etc. Case closed on Clarence Thomas. We now know for sure who he is. But the one thing I will say this, John Roberts at least has a chance to pull the nose up on his diving biplane before it augers in. So do the right thing, Johnny, please. 
All right, this is just so heartbreaking. A six-year-old girl's recorded question to her assailant, why did you shoot my daddy and me? America, 2023. All right, finally, because I'm an old dude and because it had been more than six months since my last booster, I was able to get the COVID bivalent vaccine yesterday. And you know what? Um, there's no ficus growing out of my head and I don't have a sudden urge to get a sex change operation. Uh, the only side effect from this booster that I got is that I am now much less likely to get severely ill. And just as important, I am much less likely to make you severely ill or kill you because I have that kind of regard for you. Uh, now, the only concession that I made with respect to this vaccination is that I got the shot in my left arm so that my 103 mile per hour fastball heater in my right arm would not be affected. See, that's what I call being radically rational. Good day.